here you can see the different um, curve, I mean, drilling along a curve command. Uh, we we top in, start in the top left. Uh, you can drill along a surface edge curve. In other words, you create a curve from a surface edge and you can drill uh, along that curve based on how many you want, how many drills you want, drill holes you want to make uh, or how far distance they are apart. And it will calculate that along the curve. And you can do it along a circle as well. No more having to create circles and array them in a polar array or anything. Just draw your circle and then just do the drilling operation. And then over here, uh, you can do uh, drilling along uh, 3D curves on a 3D part. If you look closer, I'm going to show you this in a demo, but if you look closer up here, uh, each of those drill points lie, the start of the, of the drill cut will lie on the curve. And then it'll drill the depth based on that point along the curve. And you can see how that looks uh, in the simulation uh, down below. And then uh, I really like this the ability to do it in four axis. If you have uh, four axis geometry and you need to put a pattern of holes, uh, you can do that uh, with curves that, that lie on uh, your uh, part and along the radial axis, as you see here in the top uh, left corner. Uh, but I also, in the demo when we do it, you can do that along a curve. Uh, going across uh, the four, four axis part as well. So that's pretty, pretty cool. No need to do the uh, index machining. Okay, curve, uh, drilling on a curve. As you can see here, uh, we've got uh, 3D geometry and we got different curves right here. Now you can uh, go in and well, I showed you this on the slide where you can do curves along and I mean drilling along a curve and it can be uh, any 2D or 3D curve. Now for this particular curve it was just the edge of the surface and you can go ahead and we'll go into the drilling dialog. Now you have an option to uh, drill along curve selection. Okay so you just put this select this option with the number of drilling holes you want and the distance between the holes uh, and it will generate uh, the drill points along that uh, curve. What's really neat is being able to drill along a diameter circle. No, you, now you no longer have to draw your circles if, you're, if, you're, if your drill points are not on your model. You don't have to go through the trouble of doing a, a polar array and locating those points. Just select your circle, tell how many you want to drill, and it'll calculate it for you. And then this also works uh, on curves, just standalone curves. Just select the curve and it'll drill along the curve. And this, this one is a nerves curve, and but you all can also drill on a uh, curve that's made up of faceted uh, lines, like a, 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 a decomposed curve. Uh, it, you know, you can uh, change any curve to arcs or lines, so it works as well on those curves. So you can see that as well. So you can, this is really, uh, I really like this, this uh, option right here. So let's go ahead and see uh, what else we got here. Uh, One quick note on the drilling, uh, you can be pretty creative with that and actually use it for uh, roughing operations, if you will. Uh, you can use a milling tool as uh, in that uh, you can select a milling tool in the drilling operation and you can create your own cut patterns and drive mm -hmm. it. Yep. And especially if you in Rhino, if you tie it to uh, the Rhino API or Grasshopper, you can get very creative with it. So. Yeah, you could draw like if you wanted to rough this, I know you probably wouldn't rough this particular part, but what we're talking about is you can just draw a, a curve that just goes around and around and around to the center and it'll it'll put drill points around it for you. Then you can use them to hog out material and stuff. Okay, so let's look at three, get into three axis. Again, uh, if you need to put uh, drill points down on a curve, um, they can be, this is just an example of the curves being on a three-dimensional part uh, where you have uh, actual uh, curve geometry 
It's not slate. It's just straight. It just follows the. Uh, this is also a sub D model. It just follows the ISO line uh, of the sub D model. You do have to create the curve. Just create the curve uh, based on this surface edge, and then you can put uh, the drill points along the curves. Okay, so you can see that uh, better right here. And let's go into the curve. And it's just, uh, we got four drill points uh, along this curve, okay? And uh, that's what we got there. Let's go ahead and cancel out of that. Uh, and this is, you know, this is handy if you're doing industrial type uh, parts, uh, artistic parts, and you're com wanting to come up with a, a fancy uh, drill pattern. If you look in the top view, you'll see that these uh, drill holes are not just horizontal they're actually along each of the curves so you know the curve the the drill holes actually follow a gradual curve as it goes back and forth which is pretty uh, interesting okay let's look at curve modeling let's see um, I want to show you this one uh, so drilling along curves and four axis I don't have any holes uh, in the part all I've got is just a tube um, so now you can place uh, holes along these curves, and I'm going to simulate this so you can see it. But what's also neat is you can do holes around the part like that. No, you don't have to do any uh, uh, four-axis uh, instancing, you know, to index around uh, and do that. It'll calculate that for you. So let's just simulate this real quick. So let's go ahead and turn the toolpath off. So you see it drilled the holes based on the curve patterns along the outside edge. And then this one, it just calculated uh, the hole pattern around uh, across the axis, across the rotational axis, which is very handy if you need to put holes um, diagonally around the part at a certain uh, distance apart. Uh, it'll do that for you. So that is really cuts out a lot of time if you're having to do that in four axis uh, to reposition that tool around there.